Good morning. It is, what is this? Wednesday? Wednesday. Blake just pulled up. Um, yeah, yesterday was Tuesday and it was 80 degrees. And today we're under a, uh, we're under, we're under a winter storm warning. Like, yeah, they're calling for six to eight inches. And we asked people if they could pick up by four because it's supposed to get pretty bad in the afternoon. But as you all know, I'm excited because I like it. However, it's bad for business. Anyway, you're going to see Blake pop in here in a minute. And you can say hi. I just got the, I would say the most awesome, but I like to say the awesomest <laughs> text message from one of my lovely, lovely subscribers who previously had offered me a box of um, porcelain dolls. And then the tea thing didn't work out, so kind of went on the back burner and she messaged me and said, now that the buildings are ready and we're getting ready to start rocking and rolling, did I still want the dolls? And I was like, ah, yes, because look, I want to fill that with dolls. Here he comes. Oh. Hi. Why is it here, Pip? I just went in there and asked him if he wanted coffee, and he said, about 8.45. We were supposed to leave at 9. I know. That's why I got up early and came over. Well, go in there and tell him. <laughs> see you later. Thursday. You want to see outside? Ta-da! It's pretty outside. Boy, they were making a great big deal out of that yesterday. People closed their businesses early. Um, I mean, government offices were closed early. That's nothing. They made a big deal out of it. And the whole time I'm like, this is stupid. It's going to snow. It's April. It's It was 80 degrees the day before. So anyway, it was dumb. But. I like seeing the pretty. So I've just been watching some Jamie Ray Vintage. I just had my broccoli omelet for breakfast. And I'm having some raspberry lemonade crystal light because I don't drink plain water. Mm, that's good. All right. So I have two, four, six... 8, 10, 12. Is that right? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. I have 12 cards completed. Like, done, ready, ready. Yes, I have my cast off today. So, look how small my hand is now. It looks funny. Doesn't it look funny? And I'm doing really well um, with extension, I feel. But there's certain things like I can't, and it's weird, I can't push the remote very well. It's the whole pressure thing of using it for pressure. I can use it to, oh, wait a minute. This one's kind of heavy. Never mind. I can't pick that. I can't pick this up. It is full of liquid, but I can't pick it up. But I can pick this up. <laughs> I can't imagine. Let me do this because I've got to do my other. That's not too bad. I mean, I don't do, I don't, I'm not left-handed. But I'm thinking about how it's going to be when I have my right hand done. 
and that isn't too bad. It's just certain things. I can't even, okay, like, I, I wanted to hold the pan and scoop some stuff out of the pan, and that was, like, awkward and hard still. But, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, things are going really, really well. And I'm going to put my cast on to go to work because I do not trust it around the dogs at all. Um, Shiva has gotten so much better. I don't worry about her anymore. I'm not scared of her hurting me. Anyway, I had some more comments and I thought we would get into them. Star Child 1975 says, I've never heard of the plant bar. Um, looks like it's about 40 miles from me in New River. We'll have to check it out next time we drive to Sedona. The windows look great. I'm waiting to see what ours will look like. Should be next week, I think. I love your white chair. Where did you get it? I got it from, oh, it doesn't look very white right now, but that's my white chair. And um, I got it at American Furniture Warehouse. I got my desk and the desktop and the chair at the same time. And I had one card lady who bought enough cards in one month for me to buy all of it. Yeah. Where is she? She's disappeared on me for right now. She kind of comes and goes. Barbara Harold. Wow. So much to talk about. First, your windows look great. Again, your hubby's being silly. He is silly. I just love that he's silly. The window people really didn't want to make a mess in your home. That was nice of them. How did the doggies do while the windows were being installed? Fortunately, it was really, really nice outside. So they stayed outside and they were great. Um, I did take them with me to the trailer place um, just in case anything happened. So I took them with me and the, the I told the lady at one point, I was like, I need to go out and check on my dog. She's like, what, what kind of dogs do you have? And I told her and she was like, I love Dobermans. We're dog friendly. You want to bring them in? So after three times that she said that, I was like, okay. I said, but you know, the Doberman's young. She's kind of a dingling. And she came in and she was so well behaved. I was so proud of her. Um, the trailer is awesome. The LED lights are cool. It's going to hold a lot of goodies. Your craft room is looking great. What size is your room? Um, I don't know. It's a, no, it's, it's a normal size bedroom. I would imagine it's like 14 by 14. That's my good guess. The curtains are very pretty. The other window has a great view. Can't wait to see it all done. Thank you. You can see. I like that better. I really do. I'm digging it. I'm really digging it. I told Honey, I was like, thank you so much for your help. Although, he honestly didn't help me that much. These two things, I slid this one out of the closet and pushed it over there, but he had, and I slid this one out, but he had to obviously lift it up to there. But, and then um, he brought the pink shelf at the bottom was in the living room. So he brought that in here and put that there, but I moved all the rest of that stuff. The two white um, storage pieces were down in the living room. I took all the drawers out. I brought the empty shell up, put them up here, and then I carried the drawers one at a time. <laughs> and then over here, and yes, I'll do, I'll do a better video. But I moved all of these, and I moved these, all of these things, and then he put that, he put the one on top. But I did all the rest. Yeah. Okay. Um, bum, bum, bum. Okay. Kim Ross, Aussie Paper Crafter. I'm excited to see the cards you've been working on. And it is funny because I started those cards when Linda was here. So they've been like the longest progress, progressive cards ever in the world. <laughs> um, and they're very whimsical, I would say. And once I get these filmed and everything, I am going to be doing Mother's Day cards. And they are going to be shabby, chic, yummy. I can't wait. 
Um, the windows are looking great. Short comment for me today. I'm 20 weeks pregnant with the baby girl and pregnancy sickness is still kicking my butt. Girl, let me tell you. When I was pregnant with Savannah, I was riding around in a tractor trailer truck with my husband and I could be in the sleeper sleeping and hear him flick the lighter to light his cigarette. Hadn't even lighted it. Flick the lighter. And I was like, Bleh. it was really bad. And I totally know what you're going through. Didn't have a day of sickness with Shane. Because as I mentioned before, I didn't even know I was pregnant with Shane until I was five months pregnant and felt him move. So yeah, I feel your pain. Now, speaking of my ex-husband that drives a truck, I want to tell you guys um, something that I discovered last Saturday. And I had sent him a Facebook message kind of fussing at him like, hey, don't forget you have um, a daughter that lives in Denver. You know, she would love to hear from you. And he texted back, sorry, I'm stuck in Arizona. I hit somebody on the highway and killed them. And I was, I, I was like, are you being serious? And he didn't respond right away. So I texted Shane. Or I called Shane and he didn't answer. Um, so I sent him a text that said in capital letters, call me. So he called me. And I was like, I just talked to your dad. Is what, did he tell, is he telling me the truth? And he was like, yes, mom. And um, so anyway, finally Ron answered and he said, yes, he was serious. And I told him that I would call him on my way home from work. So I called him and I was like, Ron, I know you're probably really tired of telling this story, but what happened? Well, he said that he was, there was a tractor trailer here and he was behind, behind him and he wanted to come out in the passing lane and pass him. And he said, while he was passing him, this person just stepped out on the highway late, late at night. I think he said it was after midnight wearing dark clothes. He said the, when the lights hit him, he could totally see him. But he said he didn't even have enough time to put his foot on the brake. And he hit him. And not only did he hit him, but the truck behind him hit him and three cars. And only he stopped. I was... I have to say that was one of the most difficult things that anyone has ever told me. I was like, how are you? And he's like, I'm doing okay. It's been, I think he said it had been five days. He was stuck in Arizona. There was a lot of damage to his truck. So he's waiting for it to be repaired. And I said, how are you? And he said, well, I did nothing but replay that scenario in my mind for two solid days. And he said, after two days of thinking about it nonstop and finally realizing there was nothing I could have done, I had to just let it go. And I said, well, what happened with the police? What did the police say? And he said that the police had said that it was Unfortunately, a common thing that's been happening where people that want to commit suicide will put themselves on a highway um, or put themselves on a train track, in a subway train track or a regular train track, um, and that's how they kill themselves. And, you know, I guess it's your life. You can do with it what you want, but when you damage someone else's life I mean obviously you're damaging the lives of the people that love you maybe he didn't have anybody that loved him but what about the life of the person 
that has to continue knowing that they killed you because regardless of whether it was his fault or not, he will, all, I mean, I don't care if he says he let it go. You can't let that go. You can't just forget that. That's horrible. So, anyway, his name is Ron. And if you don't mind saying a prayer for him, it's a horrible thing. It's horrible. Um, okay. I wasn't even going to tell that story, but it came up because I was talking about him and his truck and yeah. All right. Paula Hatton Vines. Love your vlogs. Can't wait to see the redo of your craft room. Um, you know, it's not that. I mean, I like it. I wish it, I wish I had got all new furniture, <laughs> but rearranging is good. Carla Keenan, hey there, lady. The trailer will be so handy to have. Will you have your logo on it? Yes, I've been working with the guy who did the Walking Dead wrap on the back of our camper and also did the decals, the new logo for the shop on the window. And yes, he just gave me a price that we agreed on and he will be doing the trailer. Um, love how your room has turned out. That, I know, was a chore. Windows look great. Hugs, Carla. Christine Lazrides. I watch many, but rarely comment. Just once in a while. Not much of a hutch person. My mom is. I never got into it. You do a nice job on your repurposing items, though. By the way, being Greek and Italian, we love our olives. It was so funny. Deb, are you watching? It was so funny. That was hilarious. So... Deb is the gal who worked for me, who now lives in Hawaii, but still does all our bookings. So I'm pr practically in touch with her every day. And apparently she watched my last vlog where I talked about how I'd rather eat a cockroach than an olive. <laughs> she sent me a text message. And it was something like, I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was something in relation to that. She was like, ha, 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 you'd rather eat a cockroach than an olive. And it just cracked me up that she watched because I didn't even really know that she paid attention to my vlogs. Um, but yeah, olives. Mm. I do. This is funny, Christine. She says, I do mostly like your cards. They are inspiring. Okay. Mostly? Does that mean there's some that you don't like? <laughs> it just sounded funny. Angela Perkins. Haven't heard from you for a while either. Rena, I have several friends on keto and they have good success. I see many how to eat keto videos on YouTube. Maybe you could find a good one that will explain it all to you. I've watched quite a few videos on keto and even have what I consider a good friend that lost like 90 pounds on it. And I still feel confused. Yeah, I want to do it. I want to eat bacon, but I still feel confused by it and I'm afraid. So, I am back on the Slimgenics, like, hardcore. Um, hardcore. So, I didn't, I only lost one pound last week, but the lady said that when you average it out, I've lost two and a quarter pounds per week for two weeks. That's how long I've been on it. And um, she's like, that's good. We want you to lose two pounds a week, so you've lost two and a quarter, so you're still ahead of the game. All right. Um, Patricia Handy left two comments, two separate comments. Wow, Rena, I love your new trailer. I'm in love, but I would love that for my craft room. <laughs> and anytime we go on vacation, I would be crafting. I craft when we go. Hee <laughs> hee, not kidding. <laughs> I would say to my husband, but honey, I really, really, really need this. So when you're finished fishing all day and up the creek, I could be doing my thing in the trailer. Now, to me, that is the perfect solution. Instead of me sitting in the truck for hours or on the bank throwing rocks, can't throw rocks while they're fishing. Serena, 
You and Honey picked a beautiful trailer. Hugs and much love from Montana. Someday I'd like to go visit Montana. I just love that song. What was it? Marie Osmond, Meet Me in Montana? Okay. Um, and then she says, Rena, I got my card today and just love it. And thank you for the surprise you also put in my order. You're an amazing artist. Thank you. Can't wait to watch you and Honey open your store. How exciting. I hate diets, but I need to lose some weight. I'm 66 years old and was born on St. Patrick's Day. So when my doctor says lose weight, I was like, this is a joke, right? And he just looks at me. You see, I have RA, fibro, osteoarthritis. So my chronic pain is off the charts and I am supposed to go out and walk all I can. All I can say is owie. I can imagine. So we are in the rainy season, but I love all the seasons, winter being my favorite. Okay, me and you there. I love it when it's rainy, but winter is my favorite. So excited to see your trailer for our vintage stuff and things. Hugs, Rena. Lynn Noakes, Shabbylicious. I've been a subscriber for a long time, but have to admit I don't comment often. But love to watch your weekly vlogs and see all the different things you do in your beautiful home. I'm one of those people that just sits on the sideline. I guess I just worry I will say the wrong thing. I'm looking forward to joining you on your new journey with vintage stuff and things. Hoping to get some inspiration to do things myself. Well, Lynn, don't worry about saying the wrong things. Even if we don't agree, it's okay. I mean, for heaven's sakes. I had a gal work for me for nine years. That's a very, very, very liberal Democrat who cannot stand Trump. And I just love her to pieces. So we can disagree. It's okay. I don't mean just about that. I mean about anything. So please feel free to comment. Not to worry. Um, Joy McCoy. I love saying that. Joy McCoy. She says, I'm like you when it comes to pain. I don't think about taking anything. I just feel like the pain will eventually go away on its own. So I deal with it. Exactly. I watch your videos, but don't normally comment. I don't want to be redundant and say the same thing everyone else is saying. Well, you know, Joy, that's up to you. And I get it. I mean, I kind of get it, but um, it's nice to know when people like stuff. And for heaven's sakes, you can comment here because not everybody comments the same thing on the vlogs, that's for sure. Jackie McFall, I love your pink top and I love your craft room. Well, Jackie, is that the first time you've commented? My pink top, was that my mountain babe top? <laughs> anyway, thank you for your comment. Patricia Herrera. All right, Patricia, are you ready for this? I think I, I the link I gave you is $119.99 for the Beacon Fabric Tack. Eight ounce, 12 pack, Rena. The pictures looked like the smaller ones. They looked like the four ounce. So I just assumed they were the four ounce. And when I read your comment and I saw that they were the 16 ounce, I bought them. So they're on their way. Aren't those the large ones? Or have you found some even larger? No. So that, that's the deal. I hear you guys may get up to 30 inches of additional snow this week. Wow. Well, you saw what we got. But the mountains, yes. The mountains get that much all the time. But that's, you know, here in Denver. So when they're talking about it in other parts of the country, they probably talk about how much is falling in the mountains. Um, this should make you happy. I like the snow, but not once the flowers and trees have started blooming. I don't get into Jamie Ray Vaughn. Are you talking about Jamie Ray Vintage? Jamie Ray Vintage is a furniture flipping channel. But I do get into you, and partly because there is so much going on with your channel. LOL, Peeping Tom in your window. So handsome your Peeping Tom is. <laughs> I told him that. He was just like... <laughs> rearranging things occasionally is a very good thing Rena. reminds you of what you have 
I need to rearrange my craft room and craft storage. Love your craft room, especially your yummy makes that you have stored up high. All right. Thank you, Patricia. You know, I feel really good about knowing what I have. I really do feel like I know what I have. Um, now I just got to remember where it's at. I hate it when that happens. Ran out of memory. I'm not sure where I was at or what I was talking about because a lot of stuff happened. After that, uh, hmm. And I was talking about something. I'm frustrated, but I'm liking using my hand. I'm liking it a lot, but I want that to do more. See, I, uh, well, I just can't stretch it like this much. It's more like this. Anyway, I get amused by my hands. <laughs> And it's still, like, right in here. It's, like, really tight. Anyway. Um, Naomi West, I've got fibromyalgia, too. Have had that for over 30 years. Wow. Also have CFS. I don't know what that is. And depression. I'm housebound, so crafting keeps me sane. I try to comment on your videos, but sometimes I just don't have enough energy even to tap the letters on my tablet. And that makes me really sad because that's bad. I feel bad. I am like, go, 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 go. And even just this has slowed me down. And really, just even that has been extremely difficult for me. So I can't imagine. I love it when you, oh, I'm with you on the commenting. I love it when you answer on your vlog. Don't expect any answer typed back on my comment. Are you, And I'm glad you understand that. And I hope everyone else can understand that. I mean, because literally, if I commented on everybody that said beautiful journal or I love that journal or great cards, I mean, I would be spending all my time commenting back. Again, I just feel like when somebody says that, that's their little gift to you for sharing that one, whatever wonderful project that you just enjoyed watching. So that's my thoughts. Um, are you going to have your stuff and things logo put on your trailer? So yes, we are. Love the windows. Rooms looking good. Can't wait to see the finished outcome. Dana K. Remember, lots of introverts watch YouTube and they don't comment because they are introverts and don't want engagement. Okay. But just knowing you are contributing good things to their lives. And that's a really good way to look at it. I like that. I agree. You need pops of color. <laughs> Everything looks awesome though. Windows look great. Those high windows are not common in Texas. Probably because they because of your storms. Your scrap room always looks fabulous no matter what you do to it. Thank you. So yeah. So here's my regular window. Then where is it? Oh, there's my other regular window. And then there's those windows up there. So I get a lot of, I mean, I'm noticing the light, how much lighter it is in here. And I'm All right, Sherry Walters looking good. I don't know. I may have read some of those the other day. If I did, I'm sorry. I repeated myself, but I digress. All right, well, it is six minutes till 10, and I should probably get ready for work. Talk to you guys later. Bye. As this could potentially be our last substantial snow of the season. So I thought I'd show you how pretty this blanket looks over the driveway. I mean, the driveway, the yard, and the waterfall. Not even the bunnies look like they've been out this morning. There's a bird.
And there is the new trailer. And yes, it will have vintage stuff and bangs on it. So looking forward to getting that wrapped up. So much stuff. We have too much stuff. <laughs> you just saw the snowfall. Honey cleared off my truck pretty well for me this morning, so I'm off to work. Bye. Friday morning. I have just spent, oh, I don't know, an hour and a half distressing paper. Distressing paper with this little tool. This is the Tim Holtz distress tool. And you hold the paper like this, and you take this little tool, and you kind of gently uh, distress the paper like that. And it was kind of hurting because I have to hold the paper, you know, I have to put, use pressure to hold the paper. And it was uncomfortable, but I didn't think much about it. And the more I kept going, it is really, really sore. So this is going to be the last card that I work on today. Um, I'm definitely going to have to take some uh, pain medication because... And it's surprising. I could certainly do this kind of stuff before with absolutely zero pain. Uh, a little bit annoying because it's just, to me, it's annoying to distress paper. Um, but I just can't even believe how holding that paper and using the thumb to put pressure is painful. And it's just kind of making me realize um, that even though on many levels my recovery is going extremely well, um, there's always that, you know, I, I still have that issue. What's today? Today is the 12th. So I had my surgery on the 6th. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm five weeks and two days um, in. Six weeks is next Wednesday. And then on the 22nd, I have my doctor's appointment. And I was telling Honey last night that I really feel like the doctor is going to be pleased with my uh, recovery. It hurts too much to even do this last one. I'm not going to do it. Um... I think the doctor's going to be really pleased because I do think that grooming is a form of PT for me. That even though I'm in the cast, because I do, I am still wearing the cast when I'm grooming. Um, I'm working those muscles. I am using my thumb. Um, you know, I, I can really move it well in the brace. But um, in the cast, it just, I can only move this part. Whereas... And this one, I can move to this part. But anyway, I feel so behind with my crafting. But there they are. The stack of cards. All done. Waiting for me to just do the video. And photos. And editing. And all of that stuff. You know what, guys? I like this kind of pen. I like a fat, big, fat pen and I like it with this thing at the bottom that's just me I don't like a skinny pen <sighs> I'm exhausted and it's not even eight o'clock I have to go by Michael's today Shiva's gone to daycare yay she didn't go normally she goes Wednesday Thursday Friday she didn't go Wednesday because honey stay off got changed and she didn't go yesterday because it was so snowy and cold. And at daycare, they go outside a lot. And I didn't want her to be outside too much because she has no hair. Um, so I kept her home. And guess what? It was her first day. No, it was her second day. Um, where I went to work and I left her 
and Rizzo in the house. I closed off all the rooms. So she just they just had like the main living area, living dining kitchen, and the laundry room so they could go in and eat. But all the bedrooms were closed off. And she didn't eat any furniture. She didn't destroy anything. It was amazing. And it is so funny. I'm going to have to try to remember to do a video when I first come in the door because she smiles so big. It is hilarious. This morning when I went to get her collar and leash to, to go to daycare, she knew that meant daycare. And she was smiling again, but she never smiles when Honey sees her. So the other day I came in. And he was behind me, but she hadn't seen me all day. And she was smiling. And he was like, why doesn't she do that for me? I love it. I love it. Oh, goodness. New girl still doing awesome. Love her. She actually told Savannah yesterday, she's like, I'm going to get my station all fixed up. Because I'm going to stay here until I move to Las Vegas. And Savannah's like, oh, no, when are you moving to Las Vegas? She's like, probably in like five years. So that was, you know, that's a pos very positive thing. All right, guys, I'm going to pair up some laces with these new cards that I'm working on. And these are single fold cards. These are cards that I'm making um, for Mother's Day. And hopefully... Somebody will like them and want them. And if not, that's okay too. Because I imagine an old vintage crate. You know how the crate, sometimes they uh, they have um, a piece of wood, a divider. And I imagine displaying my cards in this old vintage crate at the vintage market. I'm excited. And tonight, Honey and I are going to go out to the building, and we're going to start planning what we're going to do on Sunday, and then um, we'll be doing some video and put I, my promise to my vintage stuff and things, um, friends, is that we will do at least one video a week until the ball is really, really rolling. Um I'm actually kind of disappointed. I will tell you guys, I had a lot of people comment that they wanted to follow vintage stuff and things. And I think we have, let me see if I have it pulled up. And I have like 23,000 subscribers um, on this channel. But on vintage stuff and things, I have 21. 21 of you. Thank you to the 21 of you, but where are the rest of you? I don't need all 23,000, but I figured, honestly, I figured probably 500 people from this channel would also sub to that channel. So if you would, the link is in the description box down below this video to Vintage Stuff and Things. It would be um, a personal favor to me if you would go over and sub to that channel as well. All right, I better go because like I said, I think I said I have to go to Michael's first because I am out of craft paper. All right, see you guys later. Bye. It is Friday afternoon. It's 6:15. I have been home for 2 hours and 15 minutes, which has been really nice. But I will tell you, I really did a number on my hand this morning with the distressing and um by the time I was working on my last dog, I was I was in tears. And I even took some CBD oil and it hurt so. I, I don't want to use the word hurt. It was intense, deep, throbbing soreness. And it it was because when I'm holding the paper for the distressing, I'm having to put pressure and do the distress and I'm having to hold pretty tightly to do the distressing and I'm just like okay I need to not be doing any distressing I used to have an electric distressor and you could put it in there and run it across and but it would distress it like it would like eat the paper practically um so I got rid of that <laughs> um yeah, 
we're supposed to have some more snow tonight and in the morning I really want to get my hair cut I'm gonna see if I can actually because this is just like ridiculously long this is just too long so I'm actually gonna go right now and I'm gonna call the call the hair place and um, yeah see if I can book an appointment because this is ridiculous talk to you guys later bye Bean, I can get a picture of Shiva smiling for you guys. Uh-oh. Hi! 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 No, sit down! Sit! Sit, 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 sit! Sit! sit. Shiva! Shiva! Are you smiling? Are you smiling? Are you smiling? Don't jump, just smile. Smile! Smile! <laughs> smile! Oh, do it, good girl! Smile! <laughs> smile! Smile! <laughs> okay, smile! Smile! What a good girl! Smile! Let me see it! Let me see it, smile! <laughs> no! Ah, oh, smile! <laughs> okay, enough. This is our latest acquisition. This is the mirror. That's the dresser. It's not adhered right down here. That's why I wanted to check oh, it. Okay. Very carefully. The lady was selling this on Facebook Marketplace for $85. When I got there, you know, you're we talking about how there was a missing drawer at the bottom. And I was like, oh, we can put baskets in there. It'll be fine. And she said something about that she had the the drawer to it, but part to, it was broken. I was like, oh, can I take the broken pieces? I said, I'm sure my honey <laughs> can repair it. And so she gathered up the pieces and proceeded to tell me that each piece was like, she has the sides of the drawers marked for $3, and, and she has the front of this drawer marked for $16, and so she wanted me to pay extra. Well, by the time I got done chatting with her and everything, she forgot that she had quoted me extra for this, and so she actually discounted the dresser to $80 and didn't charge me for that, but I did buy some Dixie Belle paint, so... I think I'm going to get different knobs for it. Yeah, these are... I don't, but don't get rid of these. No, we want to keep not. these. Use them for something else. So these are the, where the church keys go in. That's kind of where I was kind of curious if we... I may have a church key that may fit that. That would be kind of cool. That would definitely okay. uh, increase value for sure. Mm -hmm. It's a very pretty dresser. But this doesn't feel like real wood. This. Oh, it's very real. Well, what is this that's on it? It's it's just got so much bear thing on it. It feels. Whoever did, this thing's probably been restored before, and they just did a, a very poor job at it. And Jamie Ray never paints the backs of her dressers. She says it's a waste of your paint. Don't do it. Anyway, I'm excited. And it's cold out here, so I'm going well, this in. This is not Jamie Ray. This is vintage stuff and things, and we do things 100% in completion. I'm not going to paint the back of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you see how the it's got the it's got wooden roller wheels? Yeah, I did. Is that cool? Yeah, I don't know who leaves cigarette butts in our garage. But... This is the culprit. I can't find him anywhere. Hey guys, we are getting ready to have some mountain views here, so there we go. Well, just took a little about ten mile ride to go pick up. A really a really cool piece of furniture that we will show you when we get home we're going to go over to Harbor Freight and uh, get some 
painting accessories. Don't let me forget Say to hi. Use wood clamps. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Just hang tight. We'll get to see the mountains here again in a sec. We're going to start painting here in a couple of hours. Get all our ducks in a row. He's going to paint the hutch and um, I'm going to get together some smalls that we'll paint in the same color. So. Okay, now you can see some trees. just have the brace on but it is feeling really good today I had some deep tissue pain for about 15 minutes earlier but for the most part it's doing really good Here he is prepping his new sprayer tool. <laughs> and he's laughing. He's laughing. We're outside our work building. I'm getting ready to paint smalls right here. And I've got my soapy water, my goo gone. I'm going to clean these pieces and get started stuff and things piece <laughs> I'm nervous. this piece is for my craft room so it's sort of practice and we're just using rust-oleum on this piece to see how it does through the sprayer It is a chalk paint. Oh. Maybe it's a good thing we're practicing with this. Yeah. This is probably why we're going to have to pay the big bucks for the good, good chalk paint. paint. Yeah. So, I showed this dresser, I think, I'm pretty sure last night. This is the mirror. That's the dresser. Those are the pieces of the... Yes, I did. I showed you guys this. But, let's have a look at what's in the back of the truck now. can't even tell what you can see but I'll show it to you when honey gets it out later but it's beautiful so got done painting went in the house sat down at my computer and this piece of furniture was posted for free it is a gun cabinet so I went and picked it up not sure yet what we're gonna do if we're gonna paint it or if we're going to keep it I don't know but I've instructed I need to come look at the trailer okay help me get in <laughs> we got a bowl I'm sorry baby <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there's a heck of a drop right there it smells like wood Trailer. 
Everybody wants to know if we're going to put vintage stuff and things on the side. Eventually, maybe. Not maybe. Eventually. Not right now. It's just an expense we don't need to put out until we start doing markets. Yeah. Where are we getting set up for the movement? So, like if the zombie apocalypse happened, we could like lock ourselves in here and they wouldn't know we were in here. There's no windows. Until we had to pee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the funny thing about this trailer, guys, is we told the guy that if he threw in a spare tire, he'd have a deal. So he sent me an email that says, oh, I can't do that. So we were like, okay. So we went and we searched for other trailers and we were going to go with this other trailer. And the guy sends me an email and he's like, so are we proceeding with the trailer? And I was like, no, you wouldn't throw in the spare tire. He's like, okay, I'll throw in the spare tire. <laughs> and then when I got there to pick it up, the spare tire had a white rim on it, which did not match the rims on the outside of the tire. It's getting cold out here. Who was hot when we were painting. Don't forget, you have to hang my shelf in the craft room. <laughs> Listen to how nice he talks to me when you guys are watching. And, and, and vice versa. <laughs> earlier, <laughs> earlier he says to me, we don't like each other, do we? I was like, speak for yourself. <laughs> hey, show him your shirt. I don't think they've ever seen your shirt. It's Shiva. And he painted in that shirt. Be in America. Ugh. Anyway. All right. We'll see you guys next week. Ta-ta. I just wanted to show you this beautiful piece. I'm so excited about this one. I love it. Hi. The drawers slide like a dream. I love this piece. Honey was like, maybe we should just keep this piece. Hmm. He moved this dresser out here, the one that was in the craft room. And that's the other dresser. I think we're going to take these doors off of this piece and we're going to put them in the back of the cabinet. I saw somebody who did that on Pinterest and it looked amazing. Here's the mirror that goes with the dresser. Look. Do, 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 do. All right. That's it. Seriously, no more videos tonight. See you guys next week. Bye. I got two packages, both from Miss Paula Hatton Vines, and I wanted to open them with you. All right. Oh my gosh, look how cute. I recognized this image, but I can't remember. Is this polka doodles? So cute. Hope your day blooms with special joy. Aw. Is it an easel? It is an easel card. And she left it so I could gift it if I wanted to, but I won't because there's a place for a note. It is polka doodles. I recognize this. So cute. Paula, you did fabulous. I wish I could distress like that, but my hand won't let me right now. She sent the, I got a box and I got an envelope with the card. So they came separate. So let me open this. I had started to do the video and realized that my home address was showing. Normally people send to my my work but some people are privy to my home address all right there's two things in here let's look at this first because this looks like another card come on come on out of there there we go 
Well, that looks pretty. Does it open? It does. Look at that. Oh, it opens. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Wow. That looks, that looks hard. That looks really hard to do, Paula. Thank you for sending me this. It is really cool. She even put paper on the back. I don't put paper on the back of mine. Oh, look at that. It looks very dimensional. That is really cool. I've never made a card like that, Paula. All right. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's got a mushroom and a gnome. There's a gnome guy back there. This is so cute. What a brilliant idea. I've never done this either. Like this. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. This is adorable. Paula, this is adorable. And it's got little tuck spots. Little goodies tucked in. Oh, it's so cute. This must be a heartfelt heart. Is it heartfelt creations? And you did a lot of distressing. This is really cute. Huh. I'm trying to see how you did it. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm 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 really trying to figure out how you did this cuz where is your center? Are we at the center yet? Huh. This is really, really adorable. And I love it. Look at you, Paula. You said you didn't think this would be very good. This is really adorable. And she even did this little waterfall. Look at that. I'm sorry, it's hard to hold it and show it. You put a lot of work in this, and it is precious. Thank you so much for thinking of me to do something like this for me. Oh, my goodness. And I feel bad. You buy stuff from me, and then you send me free stuff. It is so cute. I'm almost afraid Rihanna will steal it from me. <laughs> this is so cute. Well, thank you very much, Paula. So thoughtful and how funny that I've never even made a card like this one. I love the polka doodles one too. All right. Well, thanks for watching everybody. And thank you, Paula. So, so, so thank you. I appreciate you. My biggest fan. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.